All right, before you click off and dislike the video because of the clickbaity title, I have to tell you this is essentially a very weird trick to finding clients if you're a designer or a coder. Now, I have uploaded over 900 plus videos. I've never used one weird trick in my title before. You can do a channel search. And so I just wanna let you know I'm going to deliver on this. And I'm gonna get straight to the point right now. What is the weird trick? All right, so this is a weird trick that I used myself and it was unintentional back way in about 2007. And this weird trick is still relevant today. You could still do it. Few of you might do it. Maybe 99% won't because of people being cynical or lazy. But those of you who do this are going to freaking kill it. So I, designed, I generated 2,000 clients from this single approach. And it probably made me around $600,000 from the year 2007 to about 2012, 2013. And what it was essentially is I made a tutorial. That's it, that's the weird trick. Here's how it worked. So let me just show you. This is the tutorial I made. It is the world's crappiest tutorial, how to make an awesome logo. Um, it's just a junk tutorial. It's using Photoshop and vector tracing and stuff like that. And my purpose for writing this tutorial, I'll be honest, was just to try to rank big on a huge social networking site called dig.com back in the day. And I actually did. I ranked the front page, it got me about 12,000 visitors. I wasn't selling anything at the time. I, so it was just wasted traffic essentially. Um, but then I realized I, a little bit down the line that Google was starting to send me traffic. Now wait one moment, if you're interested in front-end development, like creating websites with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you should definitely check out the front-end developer career path at scrimba.com. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content, there are hundreds of interactive coding challenges, and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So make sure you click on the very top link here in the YouTube description, and you'll get access to the front-end development career path, which has tons of courses. Let's get started. Now, here's the uh, Google Analytics website here, and if I show you, uh, the time frame is from 2006, the very beginning, you can see there's no traffic here, all the way to 2014 and you can see the traffic dwindled. Um, right here, this big spike was when I ranked I uh, and hit frontpagedig.com back then. Um, and then it kind of dwindled down, but look at all this, this, this users. Their users kept coming for some reason. And so when I checked it, my, my website stats six months later, I noticed I was getting several hundred visitors per day. And this was coming from Google. So what happened was dig.com, they saw that, you know, I uh, or websites that were associated with dig.com, they started linking to my tutorial. It was like an automatic sort of thing. Um, this helped to generate backlinks, within, which is an SEO thing, other websites linking to my site. And Google picked it up and started ranking me for keywords like how to design a logo, how to make a logo, how to create a logo, tons of iterations. It was just killing it. And I thought to myself, okay, how can I make money from this? Well. Put yourself in the frame of mind of a person who's typing in a, a, a keyword like how to design a logo or how to make a, a website or whatever. Well, these are probably small business owners with not much money who think they can do it themselves. When they realize they can't because it's an entire profession, if you want a good logo, you have to hire somebody, then you can make money that way. So I built a system because I knew PHP, MySQL back then for ordering logos and they can fill out a form and we just communicate straight through there. So I build it, I put a small little ad, can't design a logo yourself, hire me, I'll do it for $75. I way underpriced myself. And that first month I got, I think like 35 orders. So I was making 75 bucks a day at least at that point and doing quite well. So what is the moral of the story here? You can still do this today. I guarantee it, nothing has changed. And what I would do, if I were trying to do this again, maybe not try to go for such a competitive term because I got a little bit lucky with the ranking on dig.com and I was getting all those one-way backlinks, but you could do this with a ton of other keyword iterations. So for instance, if I come back to, uh, let's go to Google here, and I type in something like, um, how, how to build a React app, 
All right, so that's a little bit more of a niche keyword rather than how to build a website or how to make a website or how to design a logo. This is more attainable for your average person to rank high for. So how to build a React, make, make an actual tutorial for this. Here's a tutorial right here. And some people who might be new to web development and they're trying to build something like this, they might actually hire you if you put a link there to order something from, I like like to, 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 or at least to contact you. It doesn't have to be an order form. And if you do this over enough niche different keywords, like how to X, Y, Z, I'm telling you, you're going to be able to find clients this way. So it's kind of an indirect approach to finding people who aren't necessarily in buy mode right away, uh, but once they realize the problem that they're tackling is kind of its own expertise in a field in and of itself, they might be in buy mode, especially if you're able to optimize your, your sales strategy uh, in a way that will get them to, to buy or contact you as much as possible. So that is the weird trick. It's not to, to, to go on job sites and post your, res, your, your, your website or whatever. It's not to introduce paid advertising. It's to literally just create a tutorial and then just have, have your, uh, your own advertising where people can hire you to do the thing that they realize they probably can't do. So that is it. Hopefully some of you take, uh, take, take away and actually run with this. Most of you won't. So don't think to yourself it's too competitive. Uh, don't sell yourself short. I think this is an, it is still a great way that you can monetize and find clients here even in 2021.